Hi children, how are you all? Uh, in the previous class, we have learned uh, about the names of persons, right? We'll just do a recap once, okay? We'll see the slides once, okay? Yeah, we were learning about uh, names of, yeah, naming words are nouns. So, nouns, yes. So, what are naming words, children? It names of persons, places, animals, or things are called naming words. Okay, once again we'll repeat what are naming words? Names of persons, places, animals or things are called naming words. And yesterday I told you, as in the previous class I told you that the naming words are classified into four groups. So they are nothing but persons, places, animals or things. So in the previous class we have learned about names of persons. Now today we are going to study about names of places. Okay children? Before I could uh, start uh, or tell you about names of places, I would like to ask you questions to you all. Now, where do you stay? Right? You will say that I stay in home. Yes, yes. So that means the home is also a name of a place. So what it is? A name of a place. Now you can say I am staying in Telangana. So Telangana is a state. So that is nothing but it is a name of a place. Now I have a few questions to you. Okay. Where do you stay? You can say I stay in home, a house, bungalow. So this house, home, bungalow is also the name of a place. Okay. Where do you go when you fall sick? Children, where do you generally go when you fall sick or when you have fever? So you go to a hospital. So hospital is also a place. Okay. The name of a place. Yes. Where do you go on Sundays? Now generally on Sundays we go outside, right? Like we go to park, we go to zoo to enjoy. Uh, yes, so that means park, zoo, garden are also nothing but name of a place. Yes, where do you go to study children? Yes, school. So school is also a name of a place. Okay, yes. Next, uh, where does your uncle or aunt stay? Stays? Now you say my uncle stays in uh, Hapsiguda, my, my aunt stays in Ramantapur. Yes children, so that means Hapsiguda and Ramantapur are nothing but the names of places. So children, now if I ask where does your grandparents stay, so you say my grandparents stay in village. So village is also a name of a place. Yes children? Next, in which state do you stay? Like for example, I told you um, before this only that uh, you told I stay in Telangana. So Telangana is nothing but state. So it is also a name of a place. Okay. Next, in which country do you stay? Yes, India. So India is also a name of a place. So these are nothing but the names of a place. Now we will have a look on this picture. Now if you see in this picture you have some names of places. Right? Like hospital, park. So when you fall sick we go to a hospital. So hospital is nothing but name of a place. Park, it's name of a place. Beach, yes. A grocery store or you can say a shop. Where do you go to buy things to shop? So our uh, wholesale market you can say or a market. Yes, so market is also nothing but name of a place. Yes, we'll have a look on other picture. Now what do you mean by names of places? All places have names. Now I told you, you know now uh, like market, yes, beach, park, garden, etc. They are nothing but they all have names. So they are nothing but the names of places. They are called nothing but names of places. Right? Yes, children. Now here, names of places not only refers only to market, park or beach. It also refers to states and countries like Telangana, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu. Yes. So even the countries like you can say America, London, US. Okay. So these are also nothing but the names of places. Okay, children. So what we have learned today in the previous class, we have learned names of persons and now we have learned names of places so i hope you understood what are names of places now children a small homework to you all is that can you list names of uh, places in your rock book okay, children and thank you for watching